Is Elizabeth Warren going to be a woman of color now? She says she's not. How can she say she's not when she just took a DNS t- DNA test stating she is? Hmm. So she's either one of us or she's not. Today, we're sharing the stage with the future president, perhaps. I would expect more excitement from our native citizens. <laughs> like anyone who's being honest with themselves, I know that I have made mistakes. I am sorry for harm I have caused. I have listened and I have learned a lot. And I am grateful for the many conversations that we've had together. It is a great honor to be able to partner with Indian country. And that's what I've tried to do as a senator, and that's what I promise I will do as President of the United States of America. The federal government's history with our tribal nations has been one of broken promises. We need to make change. We need to honor our trust and treaty obligations to the native tribes. I am sorry that I extended confusion about tribal citizenship and tribal sovereignty and for harm caused. I am also sorry for not being more mindful of this uh, decades ago. Tribes and only tribes determine tribal citizenship. I had a good conversation with Chief Baker. He was very gracious. And uh, we continue to talk about issues and continue to work on issues that matter deeply to Indian country uh, and uh, continue to work on things that we both care a lot about. So, Senator, why mm-hmm. did you list yourself as an American Indian on, on this Texas Bar application? So, this was about 30 years ago. and. Um, uh, I am not a tribal citizen. Uh, tribes and only tribes determine citizenship. Uh, when I was growing up uh, in Oklahoma, I learned about my family the same way most people do. My brothers and I learned from our mom and our dad and our brothers and our sisters, and those were our family stories. Uh, but that said, there really is an important distinction of tribal citizenship. I am not a member of a tribe, and I have apologized for not being more sensitive to that distinction. It's an important distinction. The president has made the case that you've used this part of your background to get ahead. Are you saying that this is something you fundamentally believed about yourself, or how do you respond to that criticism, that this was a a knowing attempt to get ahead by using that claim of ancestry? So that is a claim that has been fully investigated and it has now been shown completely that nothing about my background ever had anything to do with any job I got in any place. It's been fully documented and there's no evidence 